Oracle Apex developers can now build rich applications for desktop and mobile devices that access and extend your system of record data in Fusion apps. Developers can query, create, update, and delete any Fusion business objects data using its REST API, including custom objects created in Fusion App Composer. Working iteratively against pending changes in a Fusion sandbox is simple, and Apex automatically uses powerful features of the Fusion app's REST services to prune, filter, sort, and do bulk operations to deliver the best performance. Common types of interactions with parent-child objects, query by example pages, and cascading lists are easy to accomplish as well. Let's explore these features by building an Apex app for an art gallery combining Fusion CRM sales leads with Fusion App Composer custom objects for artworks, artwork inquiries, artists, and art media. These customizations to the Fusion App's data model are done in the context of an Apex Extensions demo sandbox, so production end users won't see the changes until the sandbox gets published. The application stores images of the artworks for sale in a local table in the Apex database. Matt Hooper logs into Fusion Apps and launches App Composer. He's created custom business objects there to model artworks, artists, and art media, as well as a custom child object of sales leads named Artwork Inquired to track the artworks a lead is interested in acquiring. He did this work in the context of the private work environment called the Sandbox, named Apex Extensions Demo. In Oracle Apex, we start by configuring the name of this Sandbox in the Shared Components, Component Settings for the Oracle Cloud Applications REST service. Then, under Shared Components, we create a new REST data source for the Sales Leads REST API, choosing the REST data source type of Oracle Cloud Applications REST service. After consulting with the Fusion App's REST API doc, we paste in the endpoint URL for leads and click Next. Taking the defaults for remote server and settings, we configure the authentication credential and click Discover. After reviewing the sample data, we complete the process by clicking Create REST Data Source. Editing the new REST data source for leads, we see that Apex has defined all REST operations to support query, insert, update, and delete. Editing its data profile, we see the specially named column Apex dollar resource key as primary key and can review all the lead's business object attributes, hiding any we don't need to work with at the moment by setting visible equals no. You can always set them to be visible later. We can immediately create interactive report and form pages for sales leads, choosing our new leads REST data source and configuring the Apex dollar resource key as the primary key column. Running the page, we have a working UI to query, create, update, and delete leads right out of the box. Using a companion utility app, explore all the Oracle Cloud Apps data sources in your workspace and see other available REST endpoints in the Fusion pillars you're using. For example, to work with Fusion Accounts data, just click to copy the endpoint URL to the clipboard and paste it into the Create REST data source wizard. Drill down into any endpoints in use for info on its attributes and child objects you might need to use in your Apex app. For example, notice the rank attribute of a lead has an LOV and clicking this button copies its REST endpoint URL to the clipboard to create a REST data source for it in the Apex builder. By default, it only shows the visible attributes from the data profile but you can see and search all attributes when needed. Copying the endpoint URL of the clipboard for the artworks inquired child object of a sales lead takes just a few more clicks. Using this utility app and the REST data source wizard, we create all the additional data sources we need for artworks, artists, art media, leads artworks inquired, and LOV data sources for rank and status, and create the Apex pages to let salespeople at the art gallery manage their leads and the artworks they're interested in acquiring. Running the app reveals we've switched to the Redwood Light theme and starts on the discovery page showing all artwork for sale at the gallery. The leads page we built earlier shows Matt Hooper as leads and takes advantage of the use total results equals true setting on the leads rest data source to efficiently page through results showing the total number of leads. The leads map page combines a faceted search and map to let Matt focus his attention on specific leads. He can filter the map to show the unqualified leads and click to enter the information from a recent gallery visit by Jill Jesper. 
Jill was very enthusiastic about two vintage posters. So Matt sets the rank to hot, enters the deal amount, the info Jill let on about her budget, and by when Jill was looking to make a decision. Matt adds the San Francisco poster by Joseph Binder to the list of Jill's artworks of interest using a pop-up LOV that shows additional columns of data about the pieces and supports quick searching. After setting the level of interest to high on both pieces, Matt tries to save his changes, but receives an error that unqualified leads cannot have a budget or close date. This validation error is not defined in the Apex application, but comes from the business logic customizations made in the Fusion App Composer on the sales lead object. This no budget for unqualified leads object validation rule was written in Groovy on the leads object and defines the validation error message Matt Hooper sees in Apex and the simple logic that determines when the data is valid. Any errors raised by the Fusion App's business objects and their validation rules or triggers are seamlessly presented to Apex end users just like regular Apex errors. After setting the status to qualified, Matt can save the changes successfully, and the leads map updates to show the single unqualified lead remaining. The Artworks page features query by example filters for artist, medium, and creation date, as well as the normal filtering capabilities of the interactive report region. Searching for vintage posters created before 1960 is easy, and further refining the query with web-style row search is simple too. Taking a peek behind the scenes using the Apex Debug Log Viewer, we see that Apex sends all three criteria to the Fusion App's REST endpoint. Here's the value of the medium representing vintage posters. Here's the case insensitive row search for the first search token, SAN, and the second token, FRAN, and finally, the year filter for before 1960. The year filter is configured declaratively using an external filter expression shown here that references the P6 before year page item. The artist IDC field filter parameter gets its value from the P6 artist page item. The EQ dollar ignore if null suffix on this specially named filter parameter means the filter on the artist IDC attribute should use the equals operator and be ignored if the parameter value is null. The medium IDC filter is set up in a similar way. Back in application composer, Let's add a new checkbox field named signed to the artwork business object to track if the artwork has been signed by the author. To pick up this new field in Apex, we just need to rediscover the data profile from the artist's REST data source. Apex shows us the signed underscore C custom field is new, and after quickly marking the selected row new column as hidden, we can go to the page designer to include the new signed field in our page. Just choose Synchronize Page Items, and the Sign underscore C page item appears. It's a true-false checkbox value, so we'll use a switch page item and enter the true-false values appropriately. We flip the Start New Row switch to put it on the same row as the price, and adjust the label, and we're done. Now, when we edit an artwork, we can easily indicate that the artist has signed the piece and saved the changes. Once the developer publishes the application composer changes in the sandbox, they can simply remove the sandbox name in their Apex app, so then it will work with the production Fusion app's REST endpoints again. We've seen in this short overview how Oracle Apex is now a first-class, fully declarative, low-code application builder for Fusion app's extensions. We can't wait to see the inspiring solutions the Oracle community creates using these new features.